This video will show you how to enable OData for a JDBC connection and support pagination. Please refer the video on how to create a JDBC connection. This is the Informatica Intelligent Cloud Services login screen. Enter your credentials and click Login and select Application Integration Service from the list of available services. We will first create a process. This process will take inputs from the user that is sufficient to create a row in a database table. Click New, select Process and click Create. A design palette appears where you can design the process. The start and end steps appear by default. In the General tab, enter a name for the step as Add Records to the Table. The Start tab defines the list of users or groups that can run the service. We'll configure the process as HTTP SOAP process, allow anonymous access, and run on cloud server. In the Input Fields tab, we will add three input fields, Record Number, Record Name, and Record Date. First, we will add Record Number and select Type as Integer. Similarly, we have added the record name and record date with their type as text and date time respectively. These input fields represent the data row that would be created in the database table. In the output fields tab, we will add one output field named output of type text. This is the output that the user will receive in response to the HTTP request. We will now add a create step between the start and end step. The create step lets you create records in the underlying data store based on the connection you use. In the general tab, enter a name for the step as add record. In the create tab, select JDBC as the connection and OData pagination table as the object. In the input fields tab, Add record num as input, set the value for record num as field, record number. Similarly, we have added record name and record date and have set their values as field, record name and field, record date. We'll now add an assignment step after the add record step and call it assign to output. In the assignment tab, click add field, select output, Set the value to content and enter a string that you want to see when the execution is successful. Save and publish the process. We'll now execute the process. Click Properties. Click the Process Properties tab. Click Copy to copy the service link URL and paste it in a new tab. Append the execution parameters to the link as shown here. Notice we have entered a record number of value 2, record name as B, and record date as 2nd October 2017. The execution is successful and the row has been inserted to the table. In the MySQL workbench, you can see the entry in the table. Similarly, we have added 20 more records to the table. The rows appear in the table as shown here. We will now enable OData for this JDBC connection. With this, the user should be able to see data on the client in response to a service call. In short, this will help expose data as a service. Back on the JDBC connection properties window, select Yes to enable OData and enter service consumer as allowed role for OData. The entry for allowed roles ensures that the data access is protected. User invoking data as a service would need to enter authentication details to access data. In the Metadata tab, we will add a primary key as per the OData requirements. Expand Custom OData Entity Keys, click Edit Custom Keys, select Record Num as a primary key and click Apply. Save your changes. In the Properties tab, click Test to test the connection. The connection test has passed. Publish the connection. Now, 
will use the OData functionality to paginate. Pagination is extremely useful when you have many records to view and wish to see data with a page size and browse through pages to have a better understanding of data. We will see pagination in action in two different clients, Web Browser and Salesforce. Let us look at Browser Client first. Click Properties. From the Properties for JDBC window, click Copy to copy the OData service URL and paste it in a new tab. Append the object name. In this example, it is OData Pagination Table. Enter your Informatica Cloud credentials here and click Login. All 22 records are listed here. We will execute a skip value of 2, which means the first two entries in the table will be skipped. As you see here, two records were skipped and the records from count 3 onwards are displayed. Next, we'll execute with the top value of 2, which means the top two entries in the table will be displayed. The first two records in the table are displayed. We will now execute with a skip value of 1 and top value of 2. The first record has been skipped and two records from top with record number 2 and 3 are displayed. You can also see the next URL which lets you go to the next page. Using the next URL over and over, you will be able to paginate in the browser client. The page size here would be 2 and is indicated by the value of top argument. This concludes pagination using a browser client. We will now see how an OData client like Salesforce can implement pagination using the OData URL. Log in to the Salesforce account with your username and password and click Login. We will add an external data source to reference the OData service. In the Salesforce home page, scroll down. Under Build, click the Expand icon to view options for Develop and click External Data Sources. The External Data Sources page appears. Click the New External Data Source button. Choose appropriate names for this connection. Here, we have entered OData pagination in the external data source and name text boxes. Select Salesforce Connect OData 4 as the type. Under the Parameters section, enter the OData service URL from the JDBC connection. For this, log in to the Informatica Application Integration window and click the JDBC connection. Click Properties. Click Copy to copy the OData service URL. Back on the Salesforce page, paste this URL in the text box. Retain the default connection timeout value and select the server-driven pagination checkbox. Under the Authentication section, select Per User from the Identity Type drop-down list. Select Password Authentication from the Authentication Protocol drop-down list. Enter the administration username and password. Note that these are your Informatica Cloud account credentials and not the Salesforce account details. Click Save to save your changes. Click Validate and Sync. Select the table and click Sync. Notice that the table now appears in the External Objects section. Next, we will create a tab where we can view the contents of this external data source. Under Build, click Create and click Tabs. Click New. In the New Custom Object tab window, select the table from the Object drop-down list and select a tab style. We'll select Computer. Click Next. Click Next. Click Next. Click Save. In the Custom Tabs window, click the object. The tab that you created now appears in the page. Click the OData Pagination Table tab. Click Create New View. 
We have entered test as the view name and view unique name. Select the fields you want to display and click add to move them to the selected fields column. In the restrict visibility section, click the visible to all users include partner and customer portal users radio button. Click save. Click the username and click my settings. Click personal and authentication settings for external systems. Click new and fill up the authentication details as shown here. Save your changes. Now click the tab again. Select test from the view drop down list. The page refreshes and displays the OData pagination table entries. Notice that the pagination is set to 10 records per page. Click Next to see the next set of 10 records. Click Next to see the next two records. This concludes the demonstration on OData and pagination using JDBC connection.